up everyone? Alright, today I have my friends with me, Crystal Griffin. We're going to be doing some arms and shoulders. It is Friday, so it's time to get a little pump on. You guys ready for this? Yep. I'm not, but I'll do my best. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> His weekend started early, which was as of last night. I don't recommend coming to the gym pump over. Don't do it. Dude, I smell your ass. Yeah, I know. I, I read the alcohol. <laughs> I just smelled it. Yeah. All right, you guys, so on this movement, we are going to be doing a spider walk. So you're gonna to wanna to get a band. This is not the proper band for it, so what I'm doing is I'm taking it, I'm basically putting it so I can put it in my palms. You need constant tension, so it's once you go past shoulder width, there's a lot of tension there. You don't need too much tension. You don't need a really strong, high-pressure band. You guys just want enough band to get pressure so when you go walk. So it's just in time for Spider-Man the movie. I know how everyone's freaking out about it, so let's do a spider walk. It's one of my favorite movements. Learned it from John Meadows. Just like spider. Again, there's constant tension here. Notice how she has constant tension on, on the entire shoulder. So Griffin's a baseball player, by the way. So currently what he's doing is actually looks like snow angels, or I don't know if you want to call it butterflies. It's seasonal, so call it snow angels. Doing his little spear fingers and stuff. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into spider walks now. So just walk it like Spider-Man now, walk it up. is this still works your medial delt. You should get a massive pump into your shoulders here. It's not just about the press, it's really about controlling that weight down. Bring it, you do not have to touch in the middle. I personally lose contraction and tension off the middle. Just bring it in right here tight, bring it back up. Oh, the abs gone? Nope. 
Oh, when Neil pull picks. It. Pull it. Show the skin. Show the. Oh, that's the yeah, that's the other piece. Still there. Oh, still there. That's, that's a, a dozen donuts and three pints of ice cream. <laughs> One thing you will notice on Dumbo Curls that a lot of people do correctly is they let their arms go neutral at the bottom and they lose complete tension off their biceps. You want to keep that pronated at all times. When you do it, it's a very simple thing, and most people are going to be like, yeah, I know that's what you're supposed to do, but they're not going to do it. Keep it pronated at all times. Keep it curl, keep it a fall up back. Let it back down and stretch all the way. You're at an advantage, technically a mechanical disadvantage when you let down all the weight, but it lengthens the muscle and it's an advantage for growing muscle tissue. The good cue is that you can feel your triceps flex at the bottom, so if you notice when I'm doing this, it goes from all the way down, and you notice my tricep flexes a little bit, and go back up. But it's constant tension the whole time. Her triceps are flexing at the bottom when she comes down, so that you know the length of the bicep is fully lengthened out. That's a huge cue to make sure that the bicep is fully lengthened. For this, we're going to be doing a superset. We're going to be doing a tricep pull down. And for this movement right here in particular, I see so many different variations of it. I see so many people do it wrong. The cue for a tricep pull down is to actually drive your hips forward. Drive the hips forward, it takes the shoulder and rotates the back. So we're going to go forward down. Drive the hips forward. It rotates the shoulder back so you get constant tension on the track. So with these two movements, we are super set. They're essentially hammer curls, so you don't have these to substitute the hammer curl. I love these, they're really targeting break over ELs. Definitely missing them in your mind seat. I've neglected it for years, so it's one thing that I do add every single day I do buy since now. I do have a direct movement to train my forearms. And then this is essentially an overhead press. Very similar to a swirl pressure, it goes heavy. I don't feel tendonitis, so that is why I use that. holiday season. I'm doing this reps for you. Santa. Yeah. Fuck. I'm dying here. Had a blast. If you followed the workout, if you liked it, make sure 